Vaping among high school athletes is skyrocketing. Now a metro area district wants to be among the first to start drug testing student athletes for nicotine. And it could happen as early as this fall. News 13's Jackie Kent is live at Rio Rancho High School with details. Kim, it's clearly marked that this is a tobacco-free campus, but the district says e-cig use has climbed so much over the past year, they're now looking to make some big changes that will impact sports at the high schools. From the court to the high school campus, people in Rio Rancho say smoking e-cigarettes or vaping is on the rise among high school students. Kind of a lot during passing periods and stuff. But we did notice that uh, when it came to suspensions, uh, there was a higher spike in e-cigs than any other area. Rio Rancho Public Schools couldn't give specific statistics, but says over the past year, the number of vaping related suspensions in the high schools has more than doubled. No matter what we do, it's going to get to the population of the students. It's just like with cigarettes before. Now the district is doing something about it. By boosting the activity suspension time for athletes caught vaping from one game to 12 days. And the more offenses that follow, the longer the sports suspension. Second offense is a 24 day suspension and a third offense is dismissal from all athletic activities for the school year. Similar to Albuquerque Public Schools 10 day suspension from practices and games on a first offense, then complete suspension from all activities by the second offense. There should absolutely be disciplinary actions for that because it is illegal for underage students. Plus, they're looking at the possibility of drug testing student athletes for nicotine, something students and parents in the district seem torn on. I think it's a good idea. I think that nicotine is kind of a silly idea of um, testing that for athletes because it doesn't really affect the performance of the students. The district is waiting to hear back from the company that does their drug testing to find out whether nicotine can be detected. In the oral test, they currently give 360 student athletes every year. If that doesn't work out, the district will look into whether they can afford to purchase different tests that can detect nicotine. Kim, back to you. Okay, thanks, Jackie. Now, we did reach out to other districts about their drug testing policies. APS says it does not do random drug testing. Santa Fe Public Schools does not test for nicotine.